Welcome back to Dukoscopy TV. Today I'm joined on the line by Matthias Jurek, Chief Economist at ING in Warsaw to discuss Poland's economy. Thank you very much for joining me today. So the International Monetary Fund stated in its latest World Economic Outlook report the Polish economy will grow less than anticipated this year before slowing further in 2013. Do you agree with this forecast? Actually, yes. They're, they're not particularly uh, controversial. Our own forecast of 2.4 and 2.0 for next year, uh, with a risk of a slightly lower reading in 2013. The main channels of slowdown are, for a change, uh, Polish consumers who have been running down on their savings for quite some time now, and they so stayed optimistic. Uh, the crisis was not really here in Poland, and, and the consumers believe that. So while the real wages were slowly declining, um, they kept spending patterns uh, unchanged and this is about uh, to be revised in the next couple of quarters. Uh, and the second reason is a reduction of public investment, which also um, will slow down growth in the absence of uh, private investment outlays. The IMF also predicts Poland's public deficit will be 3.4% of economic output in 2012 and 3.1% in 2013, in comparison to April's report, which had a forecast of 3.2% and 2.8%. Why do you think they have changed their outlook? Right now, the scope for running expansive fiscal policy is much smaller than it was in 2009 at that time. Uh, budget deficit exploded to 7.9% in, in the peak of the crisis. Uh, and it did work. Uh, it did stabilize growth indeed. Uh, but now public debt is close to um, constitutional legal limit limits. 55% uh, of GDP is one such limit, which would uh, force unpleasant spending cuts that will be even noted by the voters. So now the, the government tries to you know, run a deficit uh, as high as possible, but still fitting within in an attempt to avoid being punished under excessive deficit procedure. So 3.5% is probably the, uh, the upper limit, 3.5, 3.4 this year, slightly above 3% next year. This is, again, this is pretty much the consensus. Rating agencies are not particularly spooked by this um, budget uh, deficit expansion or um, higher target. Uh, they treat this as a rational choice in times of uh, domestic demand slowdown. Um, as long as um, deficit doesn't grow beyond 3.5%, I don't really think that the uh, bond market investors will be, will be particularly worried. Last Wednesday, Poland's Monetary Policy Council broke market expectations by keeping its rates unchanged. Polish five-year bond yields fell, as some of the policy bank makers have suggested there may be a cut. Are you expecting a rate cut in November? We do expect a November rate cut. We actually were expecting a cut in, in October, uh, and I think the lack of uh, interest rate reduction came as a surprise for some of the NBC members, too, including the governor. Um, and the balance of power within uh, the council is uh, is actually well, it's very close to balance right now. Uh, but we've seen uh, or we heard quite a few uh, statements by the NBC members, that ten of them, including the governor, uh, since uh, the no cut decision and. They are almost universally dovish. Uh, the, the thing is that um, in the absence of fiscal policy stimulus uh, as a response to, uh, to the slowdown, monetary policy and maybe currency depreciation are the only available tools uh, in a macroeconomic toolbox right now. And uh, in a sense, rate cuts are more important now than they were in 2009 because there's hardly anything else that the policymakers can do to stabilize growth above zero. So yes, we do expect 25 basis points uh, cut in November and another 75, maybe 100 basis points in, uh, until middle of next year. Workers in all the mines of the Polish coal miner JSW are expected to strike next week. How do you think the government will cope with these issues and what type of reforms are you expecting? There is little that the government can or actually want to do in terms of immediate fiscal tightening or reducing spending or taxing more. They want to avoid this to preserve growth. Uh, what they will need to do instead is to concentrate on longer term issues. And these are not bringing any money in near term, uh, but are maybe more important and at the same time they're more painful for some interest groups. Um, and one of such reforms is coal miners 
pension reform. They've been excluded from uh, a very brave pension reform that Poland ran back in 99, uh, which effectively will reduce pensions uh, of the new cohorts. Uh, but the coal miners were excluded from that, and they'll be rewarded quite handsomely, and they can retire early. This is very expensive for um, for the budget. Uh, so, uh, and at the same time, the coal miners are very eager to protest um, defending uh, these. Uh, these pensions, uh, including um, some violent protests, so um, a problems ahead could uh, could come if uh, if these uh, things were to be tackled by the prime minister. Other uh, reforms could uh, include farmer social security, bank tax, maybe, um, and uh, or financial transactions tax, uh, in line with what's going on in uh, in the European Union. And finally, how is the Polish lottery performing at the moment, and what is your outlook for the euro against the lottery and the US dollar against the slotty. Poland has been upgraded to a not quite reserve currency status, but they certainly a, um, has enjoys a bigger or better a real rating uh, than uh, than suggested by by rating agencies. So we do have uh, long term investors piling in uh, to buy Polish government bonds, uh, and they uh, counterbalance this this weakening trend. Uh, so in um, I think in near term, uh, yes, slowing economy would put some pressure on the PLN, uh, but uh, but this t- t- pressure would be quite limited. Uh, so and and the near term trend right now is actually for for strongest losses, so I think we might be testing four against um, against the euro. Um, dollars loss is a uh, a different story because the exchange rate just depends on what's going on with the euro dollar, uh, and uh, here we expect um, in the medium term we expect a weaker euro, a bit stronger dollar uh, on balance. Uh, pointing to uh, to a bigger depreciation of this lot against the dollar. Thank you very much for this interesting insight into the Polish economy. Tomorrow we'll be looking at Brazil's economy, so make sure you tune in for that. Goodbye.